イエス Hey guys, salut, this is Alex and welcome back to this crazy pizza odyssey. This is a bonus episode in which I will show you how to add some serious woody smoky flavors to our pies. This video is part of a series in which we attempt at making the most perfect pizza indoors, yes, with a classic domestic oven. So click here if you want to watch it from the start or if you want to choose a specific episode. There's nothing like the smoky flavor of a pizza. Nothing. Well, if you get a barbecue, then use it. That's easier this way. But that's not the point because our mission is to bake the pizza indoors. I made a few tests and a long story short, the best way to add some good smoky flavors to our masterpiece is to drizzle some smoky oil at the end just before popping it in the oven. Not some commercial stuff. Homemade smoky extra virgin olive oil, which is not extra virgin anymore after being that badly smoked. But you get the picture. So first off, let's make a smoker out of a plastic bottle. The whole process is basically an improvement on a common design that some people might be familiar with. Smoke is pulled inside thanks to a vacuum created by water. Huh? You think they... Don't be so rude. Okay, 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 okay. My lawyer just insisted that I add a few lines. Um, I did not have any experience related to any use of any smokers of any kind. I know it's a bit out of the blue, but you know how they are, lawyers. Wash the bottle thoroughly and dry it. We also need a small tube or a small plastic container that has a screw-on cap on it. Remove the cap and keep it for later. Now using a sharp cutter, cut the container around the bottleneck. Keep the tip and wipe it clean. Smooth the edges and this is what you're left with. Using a hot glue gun, Stick that tip onto your plastic bottle on the lowest position available. It should still allow the bottle to stand up. Make sure you use enough glue to make the outside ring waterproof and let it dry out. Purse the plastic bottle using a power drill and a drill bit slightly smaller than the hole of the container's bottleneck. Screw the cap back on. Right. It seems ready now. Trust me, this little DIY gluing action doesn't look much, but it does make the whole process a lot easier afterwards. Fill the bottle with water up to three quarters and then fill the last quarter with olive oil. Place the bottle in a big wide container, squeeze a double layer of aluminum foil on top and gently press it down to form a hollow. Prick it a few times with a toothpick. Place a few wood shavings in it. Use wood from oak, beech or even thyme for that. Light up the shavings and then unscrew the lower cap. The water will flow out and a vacuum will pull the smoke inside the bottle. Screw back the lower cap as soon as you see oil coming out. Then screw back the top cap as well and give the whole thing a good shape. Pour it in an appropriate container and voila! on demand smoky olive oil. So next time you're baking a pizza indoors and before popping it in the oven, use a good drizzle of that oil instead of your classic olive oil. The pizza will then come out of the oven with the much appreciated smoky flavor. You win. So guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this DIY trick. And if you did, then give it a thumbs up, like it, and share that over on your social media. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel because the Odyssey continues. Bye bye, salut.